Who in the hell threw that water on us? Man, that's my no question. Just like you are, but you can't be cursing on the channel, man. Enjoy the video, guys. Enjoy the video. Action. What's going on, everybody? What's going on out there, YouTube? It's your boy, Hollywood Sports. What's good, everybody? What's good? Hey, man, if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on the video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are here to talk about Madden 23. And just like the title says, guys, I'm talking about here's some possible good news about this Madden season, man. Possible good news, guys. Let me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you. All right, guys, listen up. Now, remember, if you guys saw my interview with Clint Odenberg, and we had the legend semi-fall critic and Smitty on the scene. One of my questions was, I asked Clint, will the pa is there a chance the pass rush could be nerfed? And he basically started explaining, well, you know, we really don't want to do that um, because, you know, a secondary, the defensive secondary can't hold up too long. They can't, you know, somebody's going to get open if, if they have too much time to throw. So we need to get that pressure on the quarterback. The pocket needs to be collapsing by the D-line. And there should be three, three, two and a half, three, three and a half seconds that the quarterback has to get off the ball, right? Y'all remember Clint saying that? Okay, that, now remember that, guys. And now I'm going to break this down for y'all guys now. Now, right now, the zones are playing good, offline and online. I've been playing a lot of online games just to see how people are responding to the game. Zones are playing good. Now, there are some times I, t I still think the safeties drift a little deep, but they, 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 they make up for it. In a lot of plays, they, they 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 close in on the ball, they break on the ball, so I can deal with that. But in some, it depends on how the defense and match defense and offense matches up. Sometimes I think the safety still drift a little bit, but hey, man, the game is playing excellent as far as zone coverage. Um, and I won't say I, I I use those words, man. I don't mean excellent guys, but the zones are playing pretty well, man. Um, I think they're playing pretty good. Okay, now. The pass rush is playing pretty well, okay? Now, this is not nothing you guys don't know, but I'm just telling you, if you haven't played the beta, listen up. The pass rush so far is playing pretty well, offline and online, okay? Now, I'm getting to a point here. I'm coming to a point. Now, let's talk about skill-based passing. We know they just put, if you don't know, they put the practice mode in the beta. Now you can practice, and they have skill uh, skill challenges, skill I think it's skill skill something skill challenges where you can practice your spins, you can practice your strip balls, you can practice all the mechanics in the game, okay, in skills mode, okay. But they did put a practice mode so you can practice your skill based passing, right? And I've been practicing, guys. I've been practicing, and it's probably best to practice with no defense, offense only. So you can get used to the the, uh, uh, the controls and, and how to respond and all that. And then you start working on going up against a defense. That's at least what I did, okay? Now, again, I'm getting to a point, guys. Skill-based passing, people can get into the practice mode. Now, the reason why I say there's possible good news because if EA, let's say, if EA uh, 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 nerfs, and, and I just found out, guys, when I interviewed Clint, they don't use that kind of language like we use when we say nerf, watered down, um, pull back. He, he said we don't we don't talk that way. So he wasn't really familiar with all those things. But you guys know what I'm saying. If they nerf the zones, guys, and make it easier, let's put it in real English. They make the zones easier, right? Because people are throwing a lot of interceptions, right? Let's say it does get nerfed. They can't really nerf it. At least I hope they don't, because if they nerf it, it's going to ruin it, guys. And the reason why I say that, if they nerf the zones, and that's why I'm saying this is possible good news. Skill-based passing, guys, you can really, honestly, 100% put that ball anywhere you want it. You can customize how you want to do your skill-based passing or how far you want to lead, the, lead your receiver. I mean, in the settings, you can customize this thing. So, 
it's gonna be a skill gap guys it's gonna be a skill gap but the thing is you can really place that ball anywhere you want to the receiver you get high low over the shoulder fade routes whatever you want to do guys if it's in the nfl you can make it with this skill based passing mechanic okay <laughs> so if they nerf the zones it's gonna be high scoring games. They can't nerf the zones, guys. It wouldn't make sense to nerf the zones. This is my good news. At least I hope they see it that way. Because if they nerf the zones and make it easier with skill based passing, how are you gonna stop anybody? How? Unless they're completely locked up man to man or something. But if the zones don't work, it's gonna ruin this whole game. So they cannot nerf the zones and keep skill-based passing in the game. So there may be a wall or a gate or a fence that says, we can't do that, guys. We can't nerf the zones, not with skill-based passing. That wouldn't make any sense. So it may save us from getting the zones and the defense nerfed. This is what I'm saying about possible good news. And really the reason why I say possible, because who knows what EA, they might say, oh, it's fair. It's fair. You can, we still gonna keep uh, skill-based passing the game, but we still gonna nerf the zones. It's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be a disaster. But the advantage is, I hope they see it that way. They can't nerf the zones, so it's not gonna make sense. Okay? All right, so that's my possible good news, guys. They cannot nerf the zones and keep skill-based passing in the game. Because you can really pass that ball anywhere you want. So it's already going to be tough enough. Okay? So we're really going to have to uh, uh, get things going on defense, guys. Because skill-based passing, I'm telling you, it's going to be stop. It's gonna be tough to stop somebody unless they make a mistake. Okay? Because you can you can get in skill pass in practice mode right now. Even when the game comes out and people start playing this game and get in practice mode, the people that choose to choose to get good at it are going to have an advantage if you get good at skill based passing you're going to have an advantage okay all right now let's say uh uh so they can't nerf the pass rush either this is possible good news guys they can't nerf the pass rush because if they nerf the pass rush you're gonna the quarterback is gonna have plenty of time to throw and using skill based passing we might as well not have a defense. There won't be no defense. That's going to be on both sides of the ball. Every time somebody get on offense, it's going to be hard to stop them. Every time the next guy get on offense, it's going to be hard to stop them. It's going to be high scoring games. There will no be no defense in this game if they nerf the, the zones, they nerf the pass rush, and you got skill based passing. How are we going to play defense against skill based passing? You see? So it may prevent them from nerfing the game with zones and pass rush this is my possible good news guys this is my possible good news okay so hopefully they realize they can't do it not with skill based passing in the game now they can't they can't nerf it they can't they just can't guys so you get you see what i'm saying you see what that possible good news could be now for the first time in madden people may have to play simulation head to head against the cpu you gotta play simulation. The reason why I say that is because now you have to know your offense. Now you have to use strategy. With skill-based passing, tougher zones, tougher pass rush, and you're on offense, like Clint said, like I told y'all in the beginning, you might have two and a half to three seconds to get rid of the football because of the pass rush and zones. And when you get rid of the football, you better make sure you know where you're throwing it at. Because these zones going to be on it. Man, coverage. The defense is going to be on it. So you may have to adapt and play some simulation football. And I know people still going to try one play touchdowns and all that. But go ahead. Go ahead. You're not going to have time to let your receiver get all the way down the field. Okay. And I know people going to find ways to get around it. But hey, man. Overall, you got to play simulation football. Not that I want to force people to do it. But it's going to make us stick with football. NFL football is what I'm talking about. This is what we need to get used to. The strategy. And we may get back into the chess matches. Using audibles. Heart routes. Understanding our opponent's tendencies. 
So this is my possible good news, guys. They can't nerf the pass rush. They can't nerf the zones because of skill-based passing. <laughs> so you got to figure out, you got to play some actual football. You got to get in practice mode and figure out some strategy. You got to come up with a scheme. You got to do all that stuff again, baby. Hey, see, it may take, hey, we still going to have some cheese in the game, but a lot of guys ain't going to be able to cheese like that guy. They got to play some, they got to play football, baby. They got to come up with some strategy. They got to play some chess matches. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I advise y'all to get in the practice zone, guys. Understand how to read that rush when it's coming. How to double team block. How to read the mic. All that stuff, man. We got to play some football, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. And notice that safety coming on the blitz. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is possible good news, guys. It wouldn't make sense for them to nerf the pass rusher or the zones. <laughs> okay, so this is another sign that the game may be going in the right direction as far as, again, the game still needs a lot of work in a lot of areas, but it's going in the right direction as far as simulation football, which a lot of us, majority of us want is simulation football. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this conversation. People don't want no simulation football. They want the one play touchdown. They want the glitches. They want to do all that. Okay. But in my, in my opinion, some, a, a lot of people are going to be forced to play football guys. So I hope this game makes it this way until launch, guys. That's all I can say. It wouldn't make sense to nerf the pass rush or the zones. Okay? They got people got to play chess match. Chess match. Chess match. Chess match. Now, here's another thing, guys. Here's a some possible good news also for the game long term. Okay? This is the first time in a beta that they put things in a little bit at a time. You know, they got play now. Now you can play the Pro Bowl, okay? So uh, I'll get, uh, I'll tell you what I mean by this in a second. Now you can play the yard. You can play head to head. You can play Superstar KO. There's skills trainer in the game, right? Um, so and they got practice mode and they got ultimate team in the game in the beta, okay? N then they're gonna add franchise mode, and I can understand why a franchise might be the last one because I'm pr uh, hopefully they made a lot of changes in it. So maybe that's why it's last. Okay, they still maybe be working on it. Maybe it's not fully done yet, but maybe they just want to get it to a point before they put it in the beta. So if they do it section wise, I hope they built it that way. Okay, they say, okay, we're going to build play now. Then we're going to build a Pro Bowl. Then we're going to program the yard. We're going to build that part. And they do it in sections. They program this game in sections, right? And then they put it together like they're doing in the beta. They add one thing at a time. Now, I don't know if they do this all the time, but when it comes to patches, maybe it'll, maybe wherever they fix in the patch would only affect that one thing. So if they if they segment it, the game while they're programming it, okay, they say, okay, play now. We need to fix this, okay? Uh, uh, Pro Bowl. When people play the Pro Bowl, this was going on in the Pro Bowl. So let's let's just focus on the program part that we program for the game. Okay, people that's playing the yard. Now we can just go into the yard box and program stuff in the yard. So it doesn't affect franchise. It doesn't affect ultimate team. It doesn't affect head to head. That's what I'm hoping, guys, that they segmented programming this game. And that's why they giving us a little bit of time in the beta. They've never done this in the beta before, guys. Usually we get like a play now with a few teams to play. But we can play with every team. It don't seem like they got all the playbooks in. I mean, all the plays and all the playbooks yet. Um, the playbooks look a little short, even though I know they eliminated a lot of plays. But yeah, guys. Um, you see, my I'm going to start my video again here. But yeah, guys. I'm telling you, man. Uh, we got some good news, guys. We got some really good news this is possible good news so if they say okay now people complain about this and this and this going on in ultimate team right so now if they program each segment they can say okay now we can just go into the ultimate team box and reprogram and fix whatever we need to fix so it doesn't affect franchise it doesn't affect head-to-head -head, it doesn't affect KO it doesn't affect the yard this is what I'm hoping, guys. But the biggest news is they can't nerf the zones. They can't nerf the pass rush because with skill-based passing, that would not make sense. Because you're going to have all day to throw if you don't have a pass rush. You're going to have all day because the zones are not playing well because they nerfed the zones. And it's going to be out of hand. Offense is going to be overpowered. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Again, if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome to Hollywood Sports.
and hopefully I will see everybody. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section, but hopefully I'll see everybody on my next video. Thanks for watching.